under the recommendation of a close friend and a real nuisance sometimes telling me what I should be doing on my YouTube channel and not. It's Jeremy Pinnell. He really suggested for a video that we should we should record the practice, let you know how that goes, what we figure out, and then and then see how that turns out in the tournament. So we just wrapped up our day of practice, and I can tell you what Jeremy and I had found was really interesting. Shallow slop was on fire in certain spots. I'll be. That was two and a half, two, well, two and a quarter. That's a nice little fish. Heavy, they're heavy fish. Huh? They're easy to, I'd say two and a quarter, right? Yeah, yeah. Way well, I'm just to keep track of the best five of the day. Now, where was he at? Right up here in the left, basically right where I'm standing. Kind of in like that openish water. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. This fish is healthy, dude. With a uh, horny toads and punching. Jeez, please, but now that's a that's a three and three quarter four. Woo! Woo. Bam! Nice. Oh, swing that tank. Swing that tank. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, jeez, Louise. Brunel with the front. Look how deep that toad is in his mouth. Woo! Fireman. Oh. Oh. Look at you. Look at you. We said you got old. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at the jambalaya. Look at him. Look at him. Ah, oh, oh, get him. Get him. But now what do you say about practicing? Practice is fun. Practice is fun. Yeah. Flipping away, Benel. Flipping away. This has turned into a decent practice. Look at that. Your horse is much bigger than mine, I'm sorry to say. We're only talking about fish, though. We're only talking about fish sizes. Yeah, he could eat that guy. <laughs> Yes, sir. Well, I'm over here tangled up on something else. Got a whole bunch that had a great about 15-pound limit doing that this morning. Now, what I'm going to call main lake fish was definitely much more of a struggle, but we only spent about two hours doing that. We did well. I, we went to the pierheads. Went to the pierheads. This body of water is dumped in Lake Michigan. It's it's Muskegon Lake in Michigan, and we got two. We had three bites. And uh, one was a small mouth, the two was small mouth, one was a large mouth, but they would have any size. Your good luck, sir. Yeah. I don't know what this is going on, though. Yeah, shoot, it's big, huh? Small mouth? I don't know. Yeah, it's a small mouth. Jerry's having a blast with the small mouth bass, aren't you? Aren't you? <laughs> Those guys are not jumping, but being a small mouth, I'll think he's a chunk, isn't he? Yeah, sir. We went back to the lake and we, we caught a handful of fish. Jeremy's throwing a creature bait. Texas rigged. Two. Yeah. That was a largey. There's another nice one with Oh, uh, yeah, a little creature bait. I threw the Alabama rig. My property's available for you, Jeremy. Kind of run down, I don't know. Sure is. He sure is. Mr. Alabama Rig. Yes. Come here, Mr. Smallmouth Bass. Oh, <laughs> look at the decent smallmouth bass, Jeremy. 
and punch it and so now as we're going to break off of this video practice is over and now it's game day well here we are in tournament day idling around we uh well, let me just tell you we launched a muskegon lake this is not where we are just telling you that now so you're gonna look at the title like oh there a muskegon lake that's true we took off out of fisherman's landing but you just saw practice and uh, we had a good practice say the least so here has been a tough bite out here but we found something way way away away from uh the ramp to get away from it i say get away from the crowd i just try to find some quality fish that's where it comes down to so i'm not going to tell you where we are but you can see we have found you will see that we have found ourselves a little creek a little creek that's uh got some large mouth bass in it and and uh I haven't seen any smallmouth, but we'll see if we can maybe get lucky and catch it. Catch one. Never was a blast of smallmouth bass. So, Vanell's already up here fishing. Hey, what's shaking? And again, it was his idea to do this uh, practice, see how that goes, and then, then see how it turns out in the tournament. So, here we are. Just started. Made our nice long run. Burned a whole bunch of gas. And uh, off to the races. Rod came up, hit the dang tree, caused slack, popped out. Now he wasn't big, he was Look like a keeper though. Definitely keeper. That's a good one. Oh my gosh, come off! That was a good one, dude. Oh! Got whatever it is. That's. They got keeper number one! I hope so. I think so. Chunky monkey. Dude, I don't know, buddy. He's status to be here. Oh, yeah, easy. Easy. 14 and a quarter. Get him? Yep. Yeah, not very big, but he's keeping number two. Maybe. Oh, well, uh, maybe not. Unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Yeah, 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 got it, got it, got it. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Yes! <laughs> Woo! Perfect. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. We saw it up there swimming around. My gosh, 20. 25 casts later, you ate it. Woo! <laughs> All right. Got three and a half hours to go, and that's only keeper three. We're in big trouble as far as staying on our mark from last week, and we were right at 15 pounds. And uh, that's our third keeper, and the other two aren't very big. But, like I said, three and a half hours to go. Okay. Take chill pill, right, Andy? Yeah. 
Right, number five, a little more than two hours ago, we got some serious calling to do. But we got five. Man, this is not the same place as it was a week ago. Well, now that is the tale of two weeks, isn't it? We had a great practice, coming back doing the same stuff a week later. And Benel, man, it just, it was so hard. The thing that drove us nuts more than anything. We, we had, I think, it was, I think it's safe to say fewer bites, but how many, they just weren't committing to it. We lost or missed so many fish punching. It's unbelievable, and so many of them, it wasn't even a matter of they were hooked and come off. They just, they never got themselves hooked. They just kind of pulled the bait off. It, it was unbelievable how that changed. Last week, man, when they ate it, when they bit it, it was on, oh, like Donkey Kong. It was awesome. And the frog bite just didn't materialize at all. Now, Jeremy did get a, uh, our first keeper on it. We luckily called him out later on. It was a small 14 and a quarter inch. But man, Jeremy, I don't think we had any keeper last week that was under two pounds. Absolutely not. We caught more short fish than last week. Yeah. And Jeremy thinks we're around 11 pounds. I'm gonna say about 10. Neither of us think we're gonna finish in the money. They pay the top four, and it's a decent payday. These paydays, these anglers, these guys who fish this circuit are incredible, incredibly tough. So, still had fun on the water. Uh, I do think I lost three or four pounds of sweat today. Jeremy, yeah? <laughs> Same here, buddy. Holy Same cow. Here. Heat and sun. But anyway, only one thing left doing, let's go weigh him in. Big bass weighs. 319. Total bag weighs 12.85. Fourth place with a total weight of 14.33, Roger and Troy. Thank you. Okay. It's nice uh, to have a yeah. partner who can catch Our all the fish. Yeah. <laughs>